Now, when the doctors found blood clots in my lungs, I knew it was very serious. I vowed to use my experience as a tool to help educate everyone about the dangers of blood clots and what you can do to prevent them. We're going to give you the lowdown on what you need to know with the help of my vascular surgeon, Dr. Alan Tula, and my beautiful cardiologist, Dr. Marianne McLaughlin. Yes. So, Dr. McLaughlin, how many people suffer from blood clots? 900,000 people what? have blood clots every year. And believe it or not, many are missed, so the count is probably more than that. Wow. And when people get blood clots in their lungs, 30% mm -hmm. die. Wow. Well, all righty then. Wow. wow. So it's very important we talk about this. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, Dr. Tulek, I know that these ladies have some questions for you. Would you please help them out? Absolutely. Okay, my pleasure. Okay. My pleasure. They know absolutely nothing. All right, doctor. <laughs> so please help them. <laughs> so first up is Tamara. Okay. Can you help explain exactly what blood clots are and why they're so dangerous? Absolutely. So a, a blood clot is essentially a, a thickening and a hardening of the blood, okay? And it can occur anywhere in your body. Uh, imagine if you cut your hand. You'll see bl bright red blood. Uh, eventually, it'll thicken, and you'll see a scab form. Okay. The same thing goes on inside your veins, okay? In uh, Tamar's case, it happened in the left subclavian vein over okay. here, all right? But most commonly occurs in patients in their legs, so over here in the iliac or femoral veins down here, and those patients, you know, would have leg swelling, not arm swelling like in Tamar's case. Got it. Dr. McLaughlin, do blood clots affect a certain age group more than another or gender? So as we age, mm -hmm. the risk increases, starting around age 40. But due to genetic differences, some people have a genetic predisposition to forming blood clots. Mm -hmm. It can happen in any age, and particularly in young women. Wow. It's really important. Young women on birth control pills is probably one of the number one things wow. because estrogen increases your risk of blood clotting. So pregnant women often come down with the blood clots. Wow. So we'll hear about other risk factors, but it can happen in any age, but starting in sort of the 30s is where it's really common. Wow. 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 Okay, Scary. Doc, this is my question. For people at home who may be scared this might happen to them, what could they do to lower their risk? Absolutely. So there's certain modifiable risk factors that you should be aware of. The worst one is smoking. I mean, smoking is bad in general for a lot of different health conditions, but even for blood clots, it increases your risk significantly. Okay. So you should really stop smoking. Uh, that would be the number one thing. If you're going to be going on plane trips, flying at altitude, or going in a long car ride, anything that's going to immobilize you or you're going to be sitting for long periods of time, that also increases your risk. So you should try to get up as much as possible during those time periods just for a little stretch to get the blood pumping. I can drink, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask that, doctor. Keep going down the gym. Okay. Thank you, right. yeah. That is a good That's question, so Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm nervous. I want to know, Dr. Tullock, how do you know if you have a blood clot? Like, are there symptoms? Absolutely. So there's some common symptoms that you should be aware of, okay? The first one you should be aware of is swelling. Okay. Swelling is the first thing you'll notice because blood has a hard time getting back to your heart if you have a blood clot you know, in your leg. All right? You'll notice pain. So patients will have pain when they can't get blood back. You know, the blood needs somewhere to go, and it's having a hard time doing it. So it'll oh. feel like really swollen and painful. Okay. And then the last thing that you might notice is tingling. Tingling in the leg or the arm, depending on where that clot might be. All Got right? It. And then the most important thing is if you have these symptoms and you're short of breath, then we'd be worried that you might have a pulmonary embolus. Okay? Wow. How much do you, time do you have when you feel these things? S some people might only have these symptoms. Some people might have no symptoms and then develop, you know, you know go directly to the lung. It's hard to predict. Okay. Wow. Got it. Thank you, doctor. Dr. Sure. Tullock, I want to know what can be done to prevent blood clots? So there are a few common sense things that you should be aware of. Yeah. One is to stay really well hydrated. If you're going to be flying on an airplane, if you're going to be going on that long car trip, mm -hmm. make sure you drink plenty of water, liquids, uh, to stay well hydrated. Uh, the other thing that you can do is that you can wear compression stockings, um, like here. You can wear compression stockings. It helps to push blood flow back to your heart. And then the last thing would be that, you know, in general, a very healthy lifestyle, an active lifestyle, is going to be, you know, the best preventative measure that you can take to, to uh, prevent blood clots from forming. Awesome. So you can wear these on the airplane as well? Absolutely. Awesome. That is...
I'm going to be doing all of the above. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Tulick, and thank you so much, Dr. McLaughlin, mm -hmm. for answering all of our questions about blood clots. The more you know, the more power you have to keep health on your side.